Forgive my candor, Your Majesty, but uh, I must ask, what fate awaits the royal bastards when... They're my children. If I hear bastard one more time, someone will die. Painfully. Your Grace, forgive me. But the laws of succession are irrefutably clear. Kiss on the laws. I'll change them if need be. Above all, I'll not allow a band of treacherous barons to use my children as their banner. Your Majesty is entirely within his rights. Thanks to Geralt of Rivia, my daughter Ada is alive and is now the wife of Radovid of Redania. I see. I fear you do not, Excellency. The midget king merely awaits my demise. I am certain King Radovid of Redania wishes Your Majesty a long and healthy life. That wasn't even amusing, Excellency. The old families will never accept a Redanian on my throne. Ada will have to defend herself with Redanian. I understand. The issue of succession remains unresolved. Your Grace, I request your permission to retire. You have it. Black ones in my camp for a battle. What has the world come to? Nothing would make me happy than returning his shriveled head to Emir in a sack. But Triss Merigold insisted I be patient and courteous. Was I? I always knew you were one of us. And bugger what folks say. They talked about Ada no end. Have you learned anything about the assassin? Twisted an autopsy. It's possible he was a witcher. A witcher? What have I ever done to the plowing witchers? Anything more? He had no medallion, but that doesn't mean anything. Many in your shoes would be the first that information. After the battle, Triss will report to me. For now, let us tend to the traitors. Where are you aiming, imbeciles? Soldier! Spyglass! What is going on up there? The gods count at you, that aim! Cat Witcher! Aim for the rogue with the red plume. Not six months ago, he swore eternal friendship to me. Quickly! How much higher? One and a half degrees. Did we hit the bastard? He's down. Ha! One less traitor. Time to attack. Follow me, Witcher! You know, Witcher, I'm prepared to forgive Louisa. All she need do is to kneel before her king. Very noble of you. Are you mocking me? Never mind. I'm certain Louisa will realize her mistakes. Besides, children should have a mother. I'm lost. It's quite simple. Louisa and I had a bit of a tiff. She made demands I could not fulfill. Understand? Onward, Witcher! To the top! So. Count Echeverry and others immediately intervened, all noble, all sympathetic. They claimed the evil king would take her children. But they would protect them, even place them on the throne. And the Baroness was duped. A motherly love used. In truth, they desire privileges that would weaken the throne. Taking orders at your bow. Join a country there, your wife. And a long road at your toe. <laughs> Bread and vodka's all you'll get when you play.
ready! That tower was ridiculous. It was designed to break the rebels' morale. A bunch of lords and lordlings took a ride to then pompously stride on top of the walls, while the real army fought and died below them in the shit and piss-filled streets. If years of service have taught me anything, it's that the Highborn don the best costumes and get the best vantage points, whether at a ball or in battle. But it's not the time for that kind of jousting, Witcher. Continue your story. Things went relatively smoothly after we came out of that tower. That is, until we ran into Arian Lavalette. You shall push for the center aisle and bring down that gate. It's a good day to kill, your majesty. Follow me, gentlemen. For Temeria! Lord Swan, you and your men shall follow me. We must capture or otherwise deal with Arian Lavalette in order to break the defender's morale. Yes, your grace. Geralt, gentlemen, follow me for the glory. Fall back, God damn it! I forbid you to die like imbeciles. Hear me! They've taken a good position, the bastards. If this persists, they'll pick us off like ducks. And I'm no duck. Any ideas? That ballista would do the trick.
be put down like the rabid dogs you are! Arian Lavalette, this will be no easy task. Surrender, Arian! You'll be treated with honor! Go plow yourself, King! Bury them in arrows! Come on, men! For Temeria! They're well shielded. You got a better idea? I'll try to get inside. It shouldn't be hard if the archers provide cover. That's the son of Louisa and the old Baron. Heir to these lands. He's hot-tempered, but good with a sword. Be careful. I'll try to reason with him. Cover the Witcher! Famed Geralt of Rivia. You've fallen low, Witcher. Word has it you're one of the best swordsmen in the North. Time to test that rumor. Enough slaughter. Surrender and full test will treat you and your men with honor. And what guarantee is there that he'll not cut us down to the last? None. Full test defiled my mother. Now he colludes with Nilfgaard. The king leads an army. You have but a few brave men in your honor minute you may lose even those. Choose. Hear that, men! The king sends a witcher and we are to surrender, forgetting the very nature of honor and pride. We must choose. Shame or a witcher's sword? Is that how you would live? Will you bow your heads before fault test? Never! You heard them, witcher. Don't be a fool. This is no game. Your men don't need to die. Surrender, and the king will show mercy. My mother has seen enough of this king's mercy. What'll you do? Throw yourself on my sword? Run? He made mother a harlot, then denied her before all the realm. True enough. But no massacre, no misguided heroism will change that. Drop your weapons. Should anything happen to my mother, I shall find you and kill you. 